This is Twit. Um, I've been testing macOS Ventura, and I wrote up a preview over at Engadget as well. And I have to say, uh, I'm glad I have a time. I have a platform to finally say, I hate the OSX doc. I have hated it since 2001. <laughs> It is awful, and uh, it is really nice to see Apple explore new ways to manage your Windows on Macs. And uh, for Mac OS Ventura, uh, that is Stage Manager, which is this like left-hand uh, side screen that lets you cycle between your four most recently used apps. You can group apps together. Um, it is it is a very nice way to jump back into different windows and uh, different apps, and so much better than the dock. I hate the dock. I'm glad the dock is gone. Um, have you guys seen this thing? Because Stage Manager is also going to be an iPad, so it's also going to oh, yeah. kind of change the way, uh, yeah, multitasking works on iPads too. Are you excited about what's coming? I, I'm I'm not completely sold on it because I've not personally used it yet, but uh, mm -hmm. I completely agree with the uh, the sentiments in your piece, uh, you know, Doc. I think that I think that some Mac users like myself are so used to the bad paradigm there that we don't <laughs> even see it anymore, and I I think people don't understand just how much better uh, window management is overall over on Windows these days. So I think it's by far the weakest part of this. Um, I have to tell you, my um, uh, basically, uh, I guess you, my mother-in-law. Uh, we bought her a Mac. She's a librarian and, you know, I'm trying to teach like an 80 year old woman to use a Mac OS. And she just flat out could not figure out the dock and how to, to click around on things. This is mm -hmm. not someone uneducated. Like this is someone who worked as a librarian through most of her career. So uh, I'm psyched to try this but I'm not completely sold on it yet because I think the mm -hmm. paradigm that they've made just seems like it would make more sense on iPad, uh, but uh, I'm excited to try. For sure, for sure. And I do want to point out, like, I think even Apple realized the dock was uh, was kind of a problem uh, because in 2003, they uh, they unveiled Expose, which is that feature that lets you, like, blow mm. up all the windows and see everything running or Windows for a specific app. And since that came out, uh, it's now part of Mission Control. That's, I need that on every Mac. Like, I cannot use a Mac without being able to blow up the windows because I never want to touch the dock. But uh, Norm, Patrick, any any thoughts? Uh, do, you, do you want to get anything off your chest about the dock? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Windows user, so it's Alt-Tab, Windows-Tab. I mean, that's, that's... Yeah, sure, sure. That's what I've been using. Uh, I like Exposé when I use and, you know, the, the kind of multi-gesture way of getting it. I, because, I'm really curious about Safe Manager for iPad. I know there's been that controversy about, you know, limiting it to the only the newest iPads and whether that's an actual necessity and how performance-hungry it is. But from a design standpoint, is this, from your perspective, places where... Mac OS and iOS start to merge and you see a future where that's kind of how they're going to design these features going forward. Mm -hmm. It does. It does kind of feel like that. Um, I mean, I, I'm the weirdo who keeps saying, why, why does Mac OS still look like it did in 2001? Like fundamentally, like the overall shape of it and the the basic thing is what it looked like when Windows XP came out and then the Mac users start throwing things at me. So I just shut up. Um, but it, it does feel like, that that idea of being able to share features between iPad OS and iOS is is kind of one way for them to kind of change the way Macs are going. Um, it is funny though because uh, just talking about the MacBook Air, right? That thing weighs two point six, two point seven pounds. It is really really light. And then I remember that the uh, iPad Pro twelve point nine inch with the uh, the new keyboard, the Smart Folio, weighs more than the MacBook Air. And that just made right. me think like I don't. I don't, I don't understand Apple's like portability um, push or argument here for the iPad Pro because now the Air is actually kind of outdoing the iPad Pro. They, it has been for the past two years, but it's even more so with the new uh, M2 MacBook Air. Um, sure, they're sharing features. I think uh, that at least it's one way for macOS to evolve. Like now you can auto hide the dock just rely on Stage Manager for moving between apps. Um, you could still use Expose. You could basically pick and choose whatever you want. I just feel like the dock is is kind of the worst possible entry. Um, but Patrick, any thoughts? <laughs> Not a single one that's useful. I don't spend enough time on, on Mac <laughs> I, now. I, I think they're kind of reaping this whole... The, the the line they've drawn between not you know, a touchscreen and not touchscreen, right? And they want they want to have their cake and eat it too, where they want people to buy multiple devices, or you can't have. They're not going to put touchscreens on on MacBooks because they want you to have an iPad as well. But for a lot of people, and they had the whole ad campaign of like children, you know, saying you know what's a computer because their computer is 
is is an iPad, right? They just know their computing mm-hmm. device is an iPad. But as complexity increases on those, you run into limits of what touchscreen only infra- input can do, as great as touchscreen is. Uh, and that's why you know there, there people have to buy these you know the the keyboards and the folios as expensive as they are. Um, and eventually, they gotta they gotta choose. Like, are they gonna make the Mac more accessible, or are they gonna mm-hmm. make the the iPad more feature full, uh, or expect people to keep on buying both? Because uh, iPad users are gonna always want to ask for more features, and Mac OS users are gonna want to ask for uh, just easier ways to get through the complexity of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, Is there I, anything? I don't know. Yeah, go ahead. I think mm-hmm. I I I don't think there's like any like like evil like tim cook rubbing his hands together like we will never bring the touch screen <laughs> to the mac so we can sell our ipads i i think um you know there there were, has traditionally been a lot of fear um you know in the mac community that this kind of crossover between uh you know i uh basically ios and mac os was going to make Mac OS less of a professional tool. I think that mm-hmm. is a it's a it's a fair worry to have just because you know one is as you say it is more for it's just straightforward it's something children can use the other is like a, a professional environment that many of us have been using for our whole careers um i just i think especially with the unified stack as you know both of them being on the same architecture now with uh with uh, apple silicon um I, I think that ship has sailed and what i think is so ironic now is you know apple spends so much of their time like oh we're gonna make this so elegant we're gonna hopefully get rid of usb type uh, a ports on your machine to make it more beautiful <laughs> and easier to use but if you actually look at the window management of any real mac user it's a mess you've got like over in your notification tray it's going to give you five updates you need to install you have random windows all around the screen some dock thing is going to be jumping up and down it's it's an absolute disaster so i do think for professional users it's time to come in there and try something like stage manager and Mm -hmm. but you're really dealing with a very different kind of user there. I mean, you know, John Syracuse, I'll never forget reading some of his Mac OS reviews back when it was, uh, you know, OS 10, talking about his anger that he couldn't get it to snap over to the same pixel on his MacBook every single time, no matter what he did. <laughs> like, like you're really dealing with a kind of OCD kind of, of person here. So we don't like yeah. change. That's just how we are. You know what? I linked to a Syracuse review also in in my preview piece because his original review for OS X, uh, OS X, I, I don't know, with, you know, the the name has changed all over the place. Uh, but he points out the same doc issue. Why it's hard. <laughs> You know, you know, it's tough. Like, say you had multiple Safari windows open, right? And you had other windows on top of your Safari and you need to go back to that one specific one that has your Gmail tab or something. The way you do it with the dock before expose and everything is you have to click on the dock or con- command click on the dock and then uh, look at the drop down, try to figure out which window among the drop down it is, and then click that. And Windows XP was far uglier in 2001. I think it was XP by that point. Um, <laughs> it was super ugly, but it's click one button on the taskbar. That's it. I just look at the taskbar and click down. I know keyboard shortcuts are a thing, but I also don't want to like tap, 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 tap. I want to like just move and click because my hand is on the mouse more. So, you know, I'm, gl- I'm glad. I'm glad I had support back then from John Syracuse. 